Hey everybody, this is Luis Sanchez. I just wanted to teach a little bit and uh, show uh, we're, we're installing a, a service line. And what you, we see right here, we've got a, a water main line under pressure, okay? And so we're gonna make a hot tap on this uh, C900 eight inch pipe. And so what you wanna do is put on your saddle. Make sure you do not over tight those because you can split the pipe. And then uh, you want to put on your corp stop, make sure your, your valve is, op is open. A lot of times people make the mistake and they leave them closed and they make the tap and they have no, worse, no way of shutting off the water. But make sure you've got the correct uh, drill bit in. This is for PVC, of course. Go ahead and put it on there. Go ahead and tighten that down. If you get a little bit of water coming out through here or up on top, that's okay. If you've got numbers right here, try to keep those up on top if you could. We'll st always start out on zero. Push that down until you hit the pipe. Once you hit the pipe, tighten it up right here. That way as we turn this, it's going to cut as we drill from the back. We tighten that up so that way this won't move. I'll have my assistant here help me. Drill bit, please. Right behind you. Drill. The oh. actual drill. There we go. <laughs> okay. I've kind of made a little setup right here that I've actually um, um, modified to fit in the back of a. We're using a trans a transmate tapping machine. Okay. When you're making a tap, you don't want to go super fast. Right around there, as you go ahead. Just go real slow, Larry. Go ahead. Make one. You want to make one? Back it up. You want to make one half. You want to make half a turn, and then wait a second. There you go. Turn it. Okay. Okay. There you go. The reason why you do that is because the the cutter is cutting the plastic, and as it cuts. It'll spit it out, so you want to make half a turn, wait a second, half a turn, wait a second. Real slow, Larry. Go ahead. Okay, let's do it. Keep going. Now you always you always want to keep going just in case. A lot of the times you'll make the tap and you feel like you went through, but you really hadn't. Then you're gonna be in a world of hurt because you have no way of shutting off the water and your bit's gonna be stuck inside your valve. So we're confident it went through. Now what we want to do real carefully now. You want to unloose this, but at the same time hold it because now we've got pressure in here. So I'm going to loosen this. See how that just pushed that up? We're going to go back on this all the way. Go ahead, Larry. All right. We can get a crescent wrench up there. Here we go. Nope, right here. Okay. Back to zero. Go back to zero. All right, that means that our bit is past this valve here. We should be able to shut this valve off without hitting this bit. Yeah, and we should. Yes, we should. Okay. Okay, now, now it's off. That should be off. A lot of times, if you don't use your you're measuring here, start off on zero. If you start off on two or three, and if you forget, you won't make it back out. You'll make the tap, but your bit will still be in here and you'll be in a lot of trouble. You'll have to shut down the main line and that's not good. So we should be able to pull this out, get a little bit of water, okay. 
And Larry, go ahead and get ready to get on that and open that up just a little bit. So we can out. we can show our viewers. There you go. One more time. There you go. All right. Well, there you go. That's how you make a hot tap on a water main line. Thank you for watching. This is Louis Sanchez, and God bless you.